Hey everybody, welcome back to Appalachian Bonsai. It's been a very long time since I've done a video for you. Um, I got a very special one for you today. This is going to be part one of a series that uh, is going to be sponsored by Vermis Terra. They're a California company that specializes in uh, worm castings and they have been very generous in providing me some of their product that uh, I will be using during this soil testing experiment. Now, anyway, what I have here are multiple maple seedlings. These were provided by my friend Gary Durney um, out of Salem, Virginia, and he has been a longtime fan of bonsai, specifically maple bonsai. So these were grown from seed. Um, I have a dozen of them here. They are trident maples with the exception of these two. I believe he felt they were trident uh, when he planted them. Turns out they're red maples. So we're going to also use these. Um, I have two maples that will not be part of this experiment because uh, certain things like the top of this one died uh, last year and this one is just really tall as compared to the other ones. So I just want this to be fair. So I'm going to be using my standard bonsai soil as a control and then I'll be using Vermis Terra's products as uh, the experiment. And I think this is going to be pretty interesting. One of the things about uh, worm castings, which some of you may know if you're doing any gardening, is they're fantastic for your soil. They're fantastic for the roots of your plants. Uh, they pr help provide nutrients in a way that uh, are more accessible to the plant. They have worked very hard in making sure that their product is top of the line. They work very hard to make sure that their products are available to you, but they don't know very well about how it will interact in the bonsai world. So that's what we're doing today. We're trying to figure out how these are going to play with our container grown bonsai trees. So let's go ahead and get started. So to begin, it's a pretty chilly day. It is March 2nd, 2021. I've got little labels here, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, etc., all the way up to six because I have the 12 plants. And um, I'm going to be planting my control with one and then I'm going to do two different things with them. That's why I have them A and B, and we'll get to that. And then we'll change it up as we go along, and I will explain each soil mixture uh, as I make them. I'm going to mix up my standard bonsai mix. I'm going to be using just a regular measuring cup because I cannot find my other one. This is a one cup, and I'll be able to determine uh, my portions, my ratios. We'll do three, three parts turfish three parts pine bark, two parts diatomaceous earth, which has been sifted, and about half a cup of sand. And that is the Appalachian Bonsai standard soil mix. This will be our control. I will also be adding this in a separate, uh, in a separate bin, but here we go. I'm going to begin with my controls. I'm going to use the red maples here. This is a 1A and 1B. They're the same age. They're yes, this one is a little bit taller than this one, but uh, we're going to be checking to see what happens here. And I'm completely removing the uh, coarse bonsai soil. This is a mix of turfus and pine bark. There's a little bit of sand in there. Um, just going to remove this media from the roots. Give that a little shake. Good. This is 1B. I'm going to set this off to the side. This is 1A. Okay. All right, so these are uh, little terracotta bowl planters. They're about two inches deep. They've got some drainage covers here, which will help um, drainage as well as preventing our material from falling out of the bottom. And it gives us a good place to secure our trees into place. One A. We're going to put one A in this pot right here. That was the one that we just removed. I'm going to begin by putting in a layer of soil here. This is just uh, just a little fine base and then I will add my plant to the bottom. The roots are kind of going down. It's not ideal. I will spread these out a little bit and then I'm going to just take the wire gently over the top of those roots 
I'm not even going to bother cutting it. I'm just going to lay it down and get those started. All right. So you may see right here, it's just a little bit of a bend over without disturbing the roots. And I'm going to add some soil mix on top. This is my standard soil mix. Take my chopstick and just kind of work it a little bit into the roots. In between those little fine crevices. Okay, one more cup of soil mixture. Get a little bit of a tap on the side just to help everybody settle in. And that should be good. We're going to do the same for B. Go. One A, one B. Alright, so I have two A done. This is here. And I have two B right here. We're gonna use the exact same mix for these. Okay. okay. This is two A. This would be two B. Good. Now the difference in this versus the first one is I'm actually going to add uh, worm castings in a little tea bag. These are just ones that I found locally at my Harvest Moon in Floyd, Virginia. The purpose of using these castings in a tea bag is that they're not in my soil mix. So there's no chance of them clogging the drainage holes because they're not in the soil. However, they will still provide benefits to the roots as it rains and gets watered. And that will leach into the soil itself. Okay, so that's one and two. So I'm going to make another soil mix, standard as usual, but I'm also going to add some vermisterra in there. Three parts surface, three parts coarse pine bark, two parts diatomaceous earth, and about half a cup of sand. I'm also going to add this vermisterra. I'm going to give a full cup of this. Their ratio in their soil mixtures is two parts of your standard soil mix plus uh, one part of this, so kind of a two to one ratio. So this would end up consuming about a third of your mix. I'm going to add about that much just to start off with. Mix this up. Okay, so we have 3A, nice strong healthy roots, or 3B, nice healthy roots. For this mix, we're using my standard bonsai mix, but I'm going to dress it the top of it with bonus hair. Okay. 
Then I'm going to give it a top coat, a top dressing of Burma's Terra's worm castings. And the reason I'm doing this is because it still provides drainage down at the bottom. It's just the top part that might get a little bit less drainage, and we'll see. We might have a best of both worlds in this, very similar to the, the tea bags. There we go. That's good. For 5A and 5B, I'm going to add another scoop of Vermis Terra's worm castings into my bonsai mix. That has already been mixed with the worm castings before, so we're adding an increased volume of worm castings. Out of my own morbid curiosity, I'm going to only use the worm castings as my organic media. I just want to bring this up since this is the first time of watering. 1A drains really, really well. 2A and B drain really well. This is the worm castings. Uh, 3 right here is draining well. Um, this has got worm castings mixed into the soil. 4, which was my regular mix but with top dressing, still has water sitting on top. Which you may see that might become a problem. I don't know. Um, we'll sloshing around in there. Five, which was just more uh, castings in the mix, looking pretty good. And then six, where it was just castings, you can still see it's just sitting there. But we're gonna try this out. We're gonna see what happens. I just want to thank Vermis Terra for, again, for all the products that you've provided uh, for me to mess around with and play with. All of you viewers, I hope that you will check out this sponsor and provide support as they have supported this channel. Um, this is really going to be good stuff for all of your potted plants, for all of your gardens, your vegetables, um, and hopefully we're going to check it out and see how it works with our bonsai. Even if the, the castings in the mix don't work out for bonsai per se, these products are definitely going to be helping me out throughout this year. We're gonna check back in um, here in a couple of months as spring is in full flush and look at the growth of these plants. We'll start adding some of these products to them, which is uh, why I have the labels 2A and 2B. We're gonna discuss that in the next video. Check out vermisterra.com. Uh, let them know I sent you and I really appreciate everybody's time. Thank you very much and I'll see you because there's more to come. <laughs> It's been a while, people. 2020 is a messed up year. I love you. Thank you.